Hello there. Certainly looks as though we're going to continue to see some disruption due to the weather. Uh, first thing this morning, it's going to be very, very icy indeed, and there will still be a few snow showers around. From this little system, has been wriggling across the extreme southeast and causing all sorts of problems out on the roads. So a severe weather warning continues for the next few hours for this snow and widespread ice. I think it will be the ice that will cause the problems during the early morning rush hour, particularly stretching up from Hampshire into Lincolnshire, anywhere south and east of that rather treacherous at first thing. It's going to be a cold and very frosty start for the north and west with those temperatures well below freezing and some isolated pockets of freezing fog, which will be very slow to clear. So allow extra time for your journey. I wouldn't be surprised to see some delays this morning due to that widespread ice and freezing fog. Probably if you're setting off 7 or 8 o'clock this morning, you'll still see the remnants of the overnight rain, sleet and snow to clear away from that Essex and Kent coastline. It will do so, leaving those icy stretches uh, certainly to encounter. Now, further south and west of that, there's likely to be a few showers, so that may well cause some problems close to the coast there. And again, we could see some ice here. Now, for Wales, it shouldn't start off too bad. There should be some breaks in the clouds, some sunny spells coming through and a few just isolated showers. Up into Northern Ireland, a cold and frosty start with showers along that exposed north coast. A few showers dipping into the west of Scotland. And for the Northern Isles, it'll be a wintry mix, really, of rain, sleet and snow. But along those North Sea coasts, feeling bitterly cold throughout the morning and into the afternoon as well. Now, areas like the north of England and the Midlands, that's where we could see that patches of fr freezing fog, some of it pretty stubborn to clear away. So as the day continues, the improvement will be some sunshine into Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest, staying very cold indeed the further east you go and temperatures reflecting this, probably only sitting at around zero degrees. There'll be a cluster of showers into the west of Scotland as well, continuing one or two to the northwest. Highest values perhaps around four to six through South Wales and the southwest. Wintry showers are still a risk particularly across Scotland and the north of England during Wednesday. Cloud and rain into the southwest, cold along the east. And the outlook, well, certainly looks as though we're going to see more sharp showers. But things just get a touch milder, I think, for Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. So for the rest of the week, then, generally speaking, staying cold and icy first thing in the morning. But there is an indication that by Christmas Day, things get a little better. Take care.